Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and tagging along with us for almost two years. Next month, it will be officially two years that Rachel Design has been around and it's because of you guys. So the purpose of this video is to talk about the hardship of building a organic community. And if you want to know how we're building it, then I want you to keep right on watching. You guys are still there. Awesome. That means we're doing a great job because you're still here after the intro. So with that being said, we're going to dive right into how we built um, our RV community. I jotted down exactly how many followers we have on our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter. We jotted down on March 1st. It is currently April the 4th. Um, we wanted to cap it off at April the 1st. Busy weekend, so I thought that I'll come back and film on April the 4th to where you kind of see the progress because this is going to be a series now. And we're going to let you guys know how the RV community is growing organically. On March 1st, we had 454 followers on our Facebook page. Instagram, we had 921. Um, TikTok, 630. And YouTube, we had 122. Twitter, 118. So I have the results here on the card and I'm gonna put it on the board and we're gonna see the amount of time we grew from March 1st to April 4th. And I like to cap it off um, 30 days, but again, um, I was a little busy over the weekend, so I didn't jot down what we had on March 31st, which is what's on the board. So apologize, we'll try to do better this month, um, keep you posted. So from April the 4th to May 4th, we're going to do another video on how much we have grown. Okay, so Facebook, um, we now have 458. Instagram, we now have 949. TikTok, we have 639. YouTube, we have 127. And then Twitter, we have 120. So our Facebook page, we now have four new followers. 28 new Instagram followers. We have nine new TikTokers. So we now have five new subscribers on our YouTube channel. And Twitter, we have two new followers. All right. I, our goal for March 31st was to have 500 um, followers on Facebook. Um, we wanted to have 1,000 followers on our Instagram page. We wanted to get up to 700 on our TikTok. And we wanted to get up to 200 on our YouTube channel and 200 on our Twitter. So we're still lacking, um, but we're not giving up. And the reason why we're not giving up is because we have a goal to meet. And when I say in the beginning how the hardship of building a community can be stressful, it can be discouraging, it can be along the line of wanting to give up, but if you're serious about building an organic community, then you're going to put in the work. You're going to show up as much as you can. I prefer at least three times in a week to show up on all of these social media pages in order for new people to come along and follow you uh, on your business journey. And it has not been easy. Numbers are constantly growing daily or weekly. So our highest um, fan base is Instagram. So thank you, Instagram, for giving us uh, 28 new followers and we want to change our followers and 
to strivers to potential clients and then to potential clients to actual clients. So we stand present for you because we know everything we post all the time is not for you in that moment, but that's why we make sure that we are present and showing off everything we offer because you may not need a design, but you see that we um, sell purses, we customize handbags, hoodies, you name it, we have it all for you. We're a very resourceful small business. So anything that's not on our online store, we're able to execute it and deliver it right to you. We just is shipping out a custom SAS to Arizona. So shout out to Arizona. Congratulations to all the class 2022. So we're just so grateful how we're so resourceful to be able to deliver anything that you have in mind. We do it in a timely manner. So with that being said, this community is so important to me. And I like the fact that I'm doing it organically. I'm not saying that we can't do um, any paid ads to get subscribers or followers. Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't work. But you got to figure out even when you do a paid ad, are these people that's following you, are they like ghost or a fake page? So we can't turn a fake page into a real client, you know, just holding up a placeholder or number holder. So out of these um, subscribers and followers, sometimes it can be fake page. So when I did do a paid um, ad to build up my Instagram page, I noticed that it, a lot of the pages um, was fake. So I had to go in there and clean it out. So I'm really a big fan of the organic world because most of the time I'm reaching out to people or I'm having conversation with them. I want to have a conversation with you. You not only just a client or customer to me, I want to know how you're doing in your business. I'm liking, I'm interacting with you're doing on a daily basis just like you are with me on outside of designs and exploring and creativity you guys are communicating with me so i treat you guys as a family not just a placeholder so we're just so excited about april 4th to may 4th is going to bring us organically and like i said organically allows me to be able to walk up to the person talk to them and they'll be like hey I want to um continue to know what i'm doing then follow me on instagram follow me on wherever you present mostly that's why i'm pushing that and i want to also make this video because building it is very stressful and it's uh, it's very hard to build a community long term and organically you can pay five dollars and get a placeholder any day it's just that you know it works for whoever it works for me when I got a lot of subscribers and followers, but I'm like, when I did start going out to them individually, I noticed it was ghosts, a fake page with no posts. So I had to delete them. So I'm like, oh, the numbers are cool, but are you touching base on people? You know, are you personally going in their inbox, talking to them, telling them what you offer? You can't offer nothing to someone who's not present on their Instagram page or Facebook, TikTok or whatnot. So you go in there and clean it out and focus on those who are real supporters, real followers who involve with you. Not get discouraged when they are not interact with you right away. Nine out of ten, they see you. So you got to stay present and continue to shout yourself out wherever you go, where you're in the grocery store, at a game. So that's how I build it. I'm I'm in the community. I'm talking to them. Then I'm bringing them back to my platform. If, you, if you're watching this video, try this strategy of um, try looking at your insights and whatnot and see which platform has the most traffic and jot it down so you can see the progress, you know, and this was going to have you accountable and be like, okay, this time around, I'm going to do this because this didn't work for this platform. So I'm going to do a little better. And so looks like to me at the end of the day, Instagram, I'm doing a whole lot better than Facebook follow next then tiktok so those are my hottest spot you know youtube and twitter are my weakness this time around so that means i'm gonna do a little bit more so that's also another purpose of this video record this journey to start a series so this is episode one of the series of um building a community so be on the lookout uh we'll be coming back fresh for uh, May 4th and see exactly what um, the numbers are looking like now. So I'm definitely gonna do uh, a chart and I'm gonna post it in this video as well so we can refer back and we look like, oh wow, we definitely have grown since the last time we spoke. So with that being said, thank you guys for being so faithful and being a part of the RD community. We'll see you in the next video. And if this video, resonated with you or you have any questions please leave it in the comments and we'll be able to give you our feedback 
when it's time. All right. We'll see you in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell to where you know exactly when we post the next video. We'll see you soon.